Welcome to David and Dexter. I'm Dexter. I'm David. This is episode eight, and we're doing a official club review. Um, it's a block colada, all right? This first boat that I'm showing you is the Underdog OG. Apparently, it is a Candy Kush Fino from um, Loompa Farms. Loompa Farms, thank you. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty crystally. Smells super. It has a super strong sour diesel smell on it. If you ask me. Yeah. Super, definitely, definitely at a first scent. Super diesely. All you smell is just the, the sour terps coming off the bud. <clears throat> From first glance, you uh, when you squeeze the nug, it's a, it's very. Would you say it's a very dense nug. It's not super dense, but it's pretty good. A yeah. lot of nice ash trichomes in there. Yeah. So the smell for me is, um, it's not top shelf, but it's like, it's probably right under it. Yeah. You can definitely tell that those sour terps are there 100%. Heavy on the sour diesel. All right, and the other bud we got to review for you guys is, they called it the, it's just the cheese. Yeah. Um, and cheese. That's their that was their best indica. So um, yeah, it's pretty crystally. I'll give them that. Pretty dense bud. To me, when I first squished that nug, the first thing I noticed was how dense it was. Pretty nice in there. It's pretty crystally, I would say. Um, smell isn't super fragrant. It's just the best part about it is the dense bud. So smell wise, it's probably if we can um, see if I can. There we go. So on the right you got the underdog, and on the left you got the cheese, both from La Colada. Not top shelf, but pretty, uh, pretty dank. Yeah, definitely some, so, um, some nice weed. We're going to pack this in a bowl and um, and uh, tell you about the taste. Yep. We got a bowl loaded up with the uh, Underdog OG, and uh, we're going to have our first taste. So, uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers, guys. This came from, uh, uh, I already mentioned a lot Maybe I'll, uh... The taste of that, sour. It's like, first, first smell, first taste is just all sour. If you didn't know what it was, you'd think it might be sour diesel or headband. Like for me, this is, <clears throat> this is just so diesel-y. If you've ever had a good headband, Uh, you know what this tastes like. Oh, yeah. If you've ever had a real headband that has sour diesel and OG Kush in it, or a solid fino, you know what this tastes like. So, cheers to that. So, I gotta go with the double. Yeah, yeah. Smoking out of the black leaf uh, shower head piece there. Oh, God. It's so, so good. Um, the taste on it, for me, is... Is definitely top shelf. I mean, yeah. high grade. High grade, definitely. for sure. Like, it tastes better than it smells. It's super tasty. I love headbands, so I'm, I'm really digging this, uh, this Underdog Kush. Yeah. So, um, Underdog OG. Underdog OG, yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna load up a bowl of this cheese, <coughs> and um, we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, welcome back. Yep. Um, so I'm just gonna load up a bowl of this cheese. You wanna, here. I'll take a sniff of that. Squeeze and smell it. Super dense nug, I will say that. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow. All I know is it's just a very, it's just a very dense nug. It's, it, it's not very stinky. It looks better than it smells. Yeah, it's um, not, it's, it's not. pretty crystally as I'm breaking it up. Um, I'll be 
honest, it's not the stickiest. This this reminds me of like weed I would get in Maine. Like yeah, in America. Um Yeah, not stinky at all. Uh the best thing about this is the nug how dense it is. Uh I'd say the smell on that is like the lowest grade for me. Yeah. For I sure. So. I would definitely agree on that. Um first look, not bad. Yeah, no. It's definitely got some good trichomes on it and that dense nug you put I think it's some it's nice weed. It's yeah, not yeah, the yeah, hottest yeah. grade. I'd say it's I'd say it's mediocre. Yeah, for sure. Mediocre. First first look. Yeah. Smell breaking it up. Mediocre. It's getting... You know, it just doesn't really have a smell to it. It's not that. It's not. But that that yeah. underdog OG, that stuff is just fire. That's that to me. I like that a lot. I I I love that. Like that. That was really nice for me. Yeah. I want to go get it again. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That right there. I'd go back and get that. So I highly recommend the underdog from Claw Colada. Hey. Um. So I'm packing this. The cheese in there now. And, uh, I'm smoking on that. So, there we go. Go for it. No, it's you. I, I had it the first time. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Cheers, guys. Cheers to the cheese from La Colada. Yeah. See how this tastes. Yeah, cheers to La Colada for the bud. Like, this is definitely some, this is definitely some pretty nice weed. Um, taste. It's there, that cheesy, kind of like, sweet, it's not this best taste. Probably not gonna, I'm probably not, I won't give that the highest, um, it's smooth, it's, um, the highest praise. It's, um, it's turning white, like the it's ashing fine. The ash, so. Yeah, it's it's clean bud. Yeah, for sure, it's a clean smoke. Um, you can't really tell it's cheese. Yeah, and I'll be honest, the high that one hit, I'm not getting. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It. We'll see at the end of this bowl. But I mean that that underdog, a couple of hits of that and. I was just... I was pretty medicated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was... <coughs> I was pretty... I was pretty baked. Um, <coughs> La Colada is a nice club. Um, One of the oldest in Barcelona. They opened in 2012. Um... Where's the card? Yeah, I'm looking for it now, but <coughs> yeah, I'll tell you that. that's alright. Um, um, if you are <laughs> in the Rhombus Reval area, like maybe, uh, you could walk there. For, it'd be like a 15 minute walk from Plaza Catalonia. It's from from La Rambles, like top of the top of La Rambles. Um. 15-20 minute walk, it's um, I think it's $20 for an entry fee uh, and I would, I, th I think this was maybe, I guess, I don't, I don't know how much this was, I'll be honest, uh, I would, I would say this, this is probably in that club, probably oh, 10 to $12 yeah. in a club, it's, it, or in La Colada, yeah, the it's cheese, a... the cheese, I'd probably say 8 um, cheers. The cheese, I'd probably say eight. Um, I would probably say that this underdog OG is the nicest thing in La Colada <coughs> for Bud. Um, they had, they didn't have any extracts and, um, the hash selection wasn't the best either, I'll be <coughs> honest. But it's a quality club. One of the oldest in Barcelona. And so, Historical. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a reason they've been open for so long. Yeah. So, um, 
Uh, I I would re- I would recommend I definitely recommend Bacalada. Yeah. Um, One hundred percent. Go get go get that uh, underdog OG. Yeah, and and we'll th- we'll throw we'll throw their Instagram in our description. Yeah. So uh, you can go check that out. Yeah. We're gonna um, I'm gonna I'll maybe rip this and then you can rip it and we'll go up. Yeah, sounds good. I'm Dexter Davitar on Instagram, guys. Yeah, I'm David Bowie seven times. Go check out. Blah Kalava on Instagram. We'll put it in the description. Yeah. I just love the function on this double barrel. It is a real champion. Definitely makes your uh, flowers taste really nice. Uh, <coughs> cheers, guys. Hope you were smoking along with us. Uh, we really enjoyed doing this uh, review. Yeah. And uh, if you guys cheers. like these, if you guys like these videos, definitely let us know. I think we're gonna be doing a lot more of these reviews. So, uh, try and get some awesome close-ups and different strains from different areas, so, um, see you next time. Yeah, see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.